What's up everyone, Willy Apple here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how you can downgrade your iPhone back to iOS 17 for free and you don't lose any data on the way. It's a little bit complicated, but if you follow along with this video, it will be pretty easy for you. So the first thing you have to do is you gotta open up settings. The next thing you gotta do is you gotta go to up here where it says your name, scroll down to find my, go to find my iPhone, and then turn find my iPhone off. Enter your Apple ID password, and then you're ready to go to the next step. You will need either a Windows computer or a MacBook. First thing you gotta do is you gotta plug in your iPhone into your MacBook like this. And if you have Windows, download iTunes from the Microsoft Store. All right, so the next thing you wanna do is inside the sidebar, you're gonna see your iPhone right here. It's gonna do a little bit of things right here, but what you wanna do is you wanna click backup now. And then you do not wanna encrypt your backups. This is really important. Now, while that is happening, the next thing you wanna do is download an IPS W file for iOS 17. To do that, all you gotta do is go to ipsw.me, then choose iPhone or iPad, then select the phone that you'll be downgrading. I'm gonna be downgrading an iPhone 14 Pro. Choose the latest version of iOS, and then it will start downloading. Then all you gotta do is wait for the backup and the download to finish. Now the next part is to modify the backup to make sure it will work on iOS 17. To do this, locate the backup. If you're on Windows, here's where the backup is located. So go to the path in the file explorer. On macOS, press Manage Backups, then right-click on the latest backup, then hit Show in Finder. Open the backup, then find the file info.plist. Then open the file in a text editing software. Any text editing software, including text edit and notepad, will work just fine. Now you're going to want to press Ctrl F if you're on Windows or Command F if you're on macOS, and then find product version. Change the 18 to a 17. Then press Ctrl F if you're on Windows or Command F if you're on Mac OS to save the file. Now the next step is downgrading to iOS 17. On Windows, hold Shift while clicking Restore iPhone. On Mac OS, hold Option while clicking Restore iPhone. The file picker will come up. Choose the IPSW file that you've downloaded and then hit Open. Once you do that, Binder or iTunes will prompt you that you're going to restore back to iOS 17 and it will verify the restore with Apple to make sure it's a legitimate restore, which it is a legitimate restore, so just click on restore. And then you won't be able to use your phone for a while. It's going to extract the software, but once it's done, your phone will turn off and it will restart. Once your iPhone settings disappear from the Finder or iTunes, all you gotta do is wait for it to appear back in the sidebar right here. It will take a little bit for it to do it, but don't worry, it's doing it. You'll see on your phone that there is an Apple logo with a progress bar. Once you see your phone appear at the sidebar right here, you're also going to see the hello screen appear on your iPhone. It's going to say hello in different languages. All you got to do is click on your iPhone in the sidebar and it will say activating. Now the next thing you're going to see is it's going to say welcome to your new iPhone and you're going to want to click restore from this backup and make sure it's the phone that you actually want to backup from and then click on continue and it's going to start restoring it from the backup. And on your iPhone it's going to say restore in progress. Once the restore screen disappears, appears, you're completely done with your MacBook. So let's go back to the iPhone and I'll show you that it is now on iOS 17 and I did not lose any data. As you can see, I'm now on the hello screen and we're going to do swipe up and it's going to say restore completed. And you're going to need to choose your Wi-Fi once again. And then you're going to need to do face ID once again, since that is not included in the backup. So just set up face ID or touch ID real fast. And then you're going to need to create a new password and you're going to need to log into your Apple ID again. Agree to the terms and conditions. Turn on location services if you want to set up Apple Pay if you want to and then you're back to your home screen now if you did place icons on the bottom they'll go back to the top so just keep that in mind and your control center layouts will be as close to what you had as possible but as you can see we're back on iOS 17 and we did a backup from iOS 18 and it is still possible to backup even though we are a version ahead now your apps are gonna take a little while to install since they are fetching the latest version from the App Store but don't worry this won't take a long time. And yeah, that's how you can downgrade your phone from iOS 18 to iOS 17 without losing any data. Thanks for watching, comment, like, subscribe, share this with your friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!